What up, gang? It's just like that. We back again on another project, man. We got a Chevrolet Malibu in the booth. I'm gonna be showing y'all what I'm gonna do to it today. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, we got a front fender and a bumper that we're gonna be refinishing today. Like I say, I already got it prepped out, it's taped up. I done primed it, blocked it, sanded it. Uh, what I'm gonna be showing y'all today is how to blend within your panel. You got your fender right there. The thing about that, you don't wanna go all the way to the end. To the end right there with your paint because your color may not match. So what you wanna do, you wanna stay back away from that, from the edge. From the edge, you wanna stay away from that. Try to keep your blend somewhere over here. I know that's not that much space, but I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna show y'all how we gonna do it. So let's get to it. All right, what you need to do, always wax and grease remove your panels, man. That's very important. And when you use a wax and grease remover, you see this right here? This is called the gloves, buddies, man. This stuff soaks into your hand. It may not get you now, but it's eventually gonna get you. They, I mean, if it soaks into your hand, your skin, it's gonna go to your lip. Before we get the rocking and rolling right here, I'm gonna show you a little trick with your Scylla. I done spray Scylla on there. What you wanna do, you wanna knock down the edge of your Scylla because if you don't, it'll have like a little ridge being that we're using waterborne paint. Waterborne paint is real thin. So it'll show like a little edge right there, a little rough area. But if you knock it down a little bit, you won't have no problem, man. It have a smooth transition. On the bumper, I'm not really worried about the bumper, but on that fender, I'm going to knock that down. I'm going to show y'all how to do it. All right. All you need to do is grab you a piece of uh, thousand grit paper, as you see. Fold it up. And just lightly, just a little bit of pressure. It don't take that much pressure, man. Just a little bit of pressure to knock that edge down. It helps out a lot, man. Knock that edge down just a little bit. Get through knocking that edge down. Don't forget to tag it off. Key to a clean paint job, man. Make sure you tag. All right, now let's lay our uh, base down. It's a trick to this. Being that we only got a limited amount of space right there, what you want to do, you want to angle your gun blowing back that way at your panel. So let me show you. It just, boom, just like that. You see that? Just like that there. See it? See that? We ain't go all the way back here. 
because you do not want to get base back on this back panel back here because you do what's going to happen like i say your color may be off it may not be but i don't want to take that chance waterborne you have to blow it off so let's get the blower yeah you have to blow it dry man really if there's no humidity in the air this stuff dries pretty good man but if it's like a rainy day like it is today outside Man, you catch it with this stuff. But being I'm in a uh, booth with heat in here, it doesn't really affect this booth. But if you uh, if you paint inside a booth without heat, oh man, you're gonna catch it, buddy. Yeah, you may not want to use water if you don't got heat in your booth. All right, got that dry. Let's go and hit this pump. coat what we're gonna do is call a control coat it's like a light mist over the entire panel I'm gonna really I'm gonna I'm gonna stop my mist up in here midways it may be a little dust on there but it's gonna it's not enough to actually change the color of the panel so check me out I'm gonna show you how to do it hold on
you can see, that's what you call a control coat. Like I said, it's just a light mist. And if you look, if you look on the yellow tape, you'll see a little mist of paint on there. That's that's fine. That, like I said, that's not enough paint to actually change the color between your fender and your front door. All right, let me shoot my uh, bumper, and we're gonna be clearing next. Stay tuned. Nah, you, right there looking. You ain't subscribed to the channel yet, man. Or you ain't smashed that like button, but you watching the video. I see you. I, I'm trying to hide. Come here. Come on. Hit that like button. Hey, that's all it takes. A little like, share, comment, subscribe, man. Matter of fact, I tell you what. Cut, cut, cut. Get back to looking at the video.
All right, trying to get y'all a close-up on this thing. See how it look. Ooh, wee! Thing look like a piece of candy, don't it? Make you want to bite it. Better not. Mess up my paint job. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like I said, this is... This is really not that hard to do, man. A lot of people look at it and be like, man, how do you do that? I mean, it's just like anything you do in life. The more you do it, the better you get at it, man. And if you don't get better at something, I think you need to leave it alone. Try something different. But this is not that hard, man. I ain't going to make this seem like this is like you're trying to be Hercules or something, man. This is simple. Take a look at that finish, man. Oh my God. What up, YouTubers? <laughs> All right, just like that, we finished, man. As you can see, the panel is dry. Whereas, you, yeah, you can see because you can't feel it, but I'll show y'all. Yeah, that's fully dry, man. Still wet. No dye back. Oh, yeah. Here's the bumper. Look good, don't it? Yeah, leave them on the wet wet, baby. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel, man. We gone.